Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today with a awesome microphone this is the Tronmax MDrill 1 Pro and it has impressed me by a few factors build quality design which is great and I'll show you in just a few moments and the sound I'm used to my Blue Yeti which is right over here and I'm using it right now but spoiler alert is that I can see a difference especially because it's less metallic than my Blue Yeti it's more studio if I can say so now one thing that I would like to share as well is don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video which is Wondershare Recovery it is a software that uh, recovers deleted files photos videos emails and everything that we have on our computers it can restore everything back from our windows pc or mac and it has also a free file search and scan and also gives us a preview of the possible restored documents that we can get back before we use it so if you want to check it out i will leave a link down below so that you can test it out and check it for yourself because we never know when we need to recover files even from accidental deletion now moving on with the microphone as i was saying it has a lot of interesting things i will give you guys a few comparisons i've been testing it out for a couple of days so at this moment i've got the tron max where i usually have my blue yeti so that we can test the audio not only on a surface close to us but in an environment that i'm used to work and of course the frame right now is picking up all this space right over here but usually the frame ends right over here so that we don't see the microphone but this just to test it out on a environment that i'm used to work usually as i said with the blue yeti and in this particular case using the cardioid mode so hopefully we can see the result and we are back with the blue yeti which is the microphone that i use on a daily basis a bit old i've got it for eight or nine years now but just to compare in terms of sound quality in a normal usage scenario and hopefully you guys can hear it for yourself and have the chance to evaluate both of them and i'm really really <laughs> i don't know how to say it. I really love my Blue Yeti, but at this moment, this Tron Max, ah. Well, one of the things that I don't want to forget to mention is that this is the One Pro, and you will find another model just uh, called One. The only difference that I found was that the One Pro model records at 96 kilohertz, while the Model One just records at 48 kilohertz. And just, it's probably not the uh, right words, both at 24 bits. So the only thing that I would like to say is that the difference in terms of price is minimal. Once again, links will be down below and you will notice if you are recording on a studio, but if you are in an environment similar to mine, then I would say that we will not get. And even when we have the audio compressed to YouTube and so on and so forth, we will lose some quality. So that's the only difference that i found now moving on to a very quick unboxing experience once we open the package right over here we will have the m drill one pro it also comes with a desk stand which is this one right over here but i always suggest to get a boom arm or even a microphone arm like the one that i've got at the back especially to avoid a few vibrations that we usually do on our desks now beside that we also have a few paperwork and a usb type c to usb type a cable it's a long cable three meters so this is the cable that i suggest to use and especially because it has a, a design that allows me to move the microphone like this which is great now in terms of build quality and design this is one of the things that i really love first of all is that we have a really cool design but check this out if i change the gain it will give me the levels here with a led which is just just awesome and if i use the button of volume for the pass through which i'll show you in just a few moments uh, it will show me here on blue and this is really nice now i've got a button right over here which is a button if i want to mute the microphone and I also have a button right over here which will allow me to change from the possible four different modes which i will give you an example of the test that i've made 
in a few moments. But before that, let's check out the uh, bottom of the microphone because we have a auxiliary output right over here, 3.5. So if we want to uh, connect uh, headphones and we want to have a direct pass through without any delays, we've got that. The volume button is exactly for that. Now, I also have the USB Type-C. I've got a quarter inch right over here so that I can plug into any boom arm like the one that I've showed and also the one that I've got above me. And then I've got the little LED uh, button right over here, which I can change from seven different colors and depending on the mood i can just shut it down or leave it red which is the theme that i've got today so this is really and of course the leds are not everything but small touch right over here small touch right over there and makes a great product which is uh, what we have in this microphone and then on the other side we'll have the volume button and also the gain uh, button which is uh, what we use to get more sounds and at this moment you are hearing a noise not so good because I should be recording from this side. Try and show you the pop filter right over here but I'm not really sure if I'm getting with that camera so if I'm not I'll show you a b-roll right over here trying to get the best. We want to get closer to the microphone and have a more intimate uh, message to the other side of the screen or a voiceover for example than this is a great thing to have an integrated pop filter because personally I hate those big pop filters. Now the build quality is really nice in general uh, it has this part right over here which is the capsule uh, all metallic and then it has plastic right over here this part is plastic and also the uh, support for the desk is plastic uh, it has some weight on it so I do imagine that it has a part of metal here on the bottom to get the weight and then it has uh, rubber right over here so it will absorb some vibrations that it's a great achievement right over here at an affordable price especially comparing to other solutions and not only the quality but especially the sound which really really nice but you will be the judge of it what i want to show you right now is the four modes so that you can have an idea especially for those that never use this kind of microphone so at this moment i'm recording with the cardioid mode which is the one that i usually use on all the scenarios that i do here on the office uh, for voiceovers for example and also on a daily basis on a review this is the mode that I use. Nonetheless, it has four modes and I'm going to quickly uh, show you through them. So this is the cardio mode, uh, usually used for podcasts and when you need to do this kind of work. Uh, even if we go a little bit back, it will capture our voice. Great. Now it will capture on this side of the microphone. It will eliminate residual uh, noises from this side. And if I go to this side right over here, you will notice that my voice will be different. Although it captures, it will eliminate a lot of noise so i can get a little bit closer right over here and of course i'm not used to this microphone yet at least on the distance it has a pop filter integrated which is great but i'm using it with the gain on almost half so i'm not really sure if i can get this close to it but if i can without distorting the audio you will have the chance to see what we can do with a microphone such as this one now the next mode is the stereo mode which i can change just by pressing this button right over here and on the stereo mode we will get uh, audio from all the sides with the exception of the back this is great if we want to capture for example room with an instrument or if we want to sing then this will be great Obviously, I don't sing at all, but in this particular case, I'm just showing the different modes of this microphone. Now, if I go to the next one, which is the omnidirectional, and this one will capture audio from all the sides. Now, I can talk uh, from this side and I can move to this side and probably on top, which I haven't tested, so I'm testing with you right over here. But this is ideal to get a room with a conference, for example, where we have four or five or six people and then the microphone on the center and we will get a balanced audio from all the sides, which is great for that scenario. Now, usually I don't use it right over here, but it's great uh, if we have a group of people. Now the last one is the bi-directional and if I press the button it will start on that mode which is great if we are doing an interview because it will capture audio from here and from here but it will cut off residual audio from the sides and from the top. So if I'm talking right over here and another person is talking 
uh, right in front of me, which I can mimic that. And if I go to this, you will hear a difference in audio. But if I, if I move to this side right over here, then the audio is capturing in a great manner. And sorry that it's me moving and not the microphone, but if I move the microphone, I will produce noises that are not desirable. And basically, this is it. Let me get back to Cardioid, which is the mode that I prefer most. And it's the mode that I usually use here on my daily basis once again. And depending on what we are doing, we can get close and close to our audience and get really nice audio from our microphone in comparison to the crappy audio that we get from our cameras. This can really step up our level in terms of audio. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, see you guys on the next one.